Dude, whoa, it is way cooler up here. How cold do you think it is? This is so much cooler than Texas. It's pretty cold. Oh, we're up here in Chicago. We're with John. Uh, John and I are going to be going to Michigan, I think, tonight. John and I are going to Michigan tonight. Before we head over to Michigan, we're going to hang out with... What the heck is this? We're going to hang out with Hector. We're going to be breakfast with Hector right now. Uh, we may do some uh, pond hopping, but other than that, we, we really, we're going to go fish for smallies up in Michigan, which coming up to the north uh, is... The weather up here is absurdly different. Like, it is really cold right now. It's really beautiful. We're about to hit 200K. You know how insane that is? Like two months ago, three months ago, we were at 100K. Thank, thanks so much for the support. That is absurd how fast we're growing right now. So John and I were just having a conversation about socks. I continually have to buy something when I come up here. And I'm, right now I need to buy socks. So right now I'm wearing one with a gold toe and one with a gray toe. It kind of bothers me. That's like the number one worst thing. Second to that, second to that would have to be stepping on a Lego without socks on. That's like... If you want to piss off your brother and sister, go throw some Legos on the floor at night, right next to their bed. And third of that, third to that, would probably have to be watching an Andrew Flair video. <laughs> Psych. Psych. Do you, think, do you think they'll run away if I walk outside? Uh, no. You don't think so? John's back porch. There's literally deer just chilling. Okay, I thought they would run away, but they're clearly not going to run away. Wow, they blend in really well on the camera. I'm telling you, oh, there they are. There you go. There we go. They're right there. Just chilling. Don't even... Not moving. It's kind of funny about this is Peric was having a hard time finding deer. There's, there's some right here, Peric. I could probably hit him with a rock. John B is downstairs talking to himself. I do a bunch of different brands. I play around with my sizes, and I also play around with um, how deep my jerk bait dives too. So my iPhone has been updating for a solid 30 minutes now, and it's this far. I don't know what the deal is. John B has an insane, and when I mean insane, amount of just lures. I use all of them. <laughs> There's just they're seriously. I use all these, but these are the ones where I, I do like little projects on. As hey, you can tell, there's reels without handles. Yeah, like this right here, there's reels without handles. This is like his project area. This is his man areas, I would call. Oh, and then all this, all his uh, cameras. cameras that he has is laying around. We got like a six hour drive ahead of us to the very top. Oh, we go to the very top He's of Michigan. Dope car edits. Dope, dope clean the car out edits. Yeah, hell yeah. <sighs> We're, we're cleaning up John's car right now, and this has got to be one of the most ridiculous things I have ever seen when it comes to fishing. Look at the size of this reel. Like, I don't know if you give it, like, that's the size of my face, and that's literally the size. You know how much that reel weighs? I don't, how much? It's actually pretty light. 20 ounces. 20 ounces. It's pretty light for the size of this. That is an absurd, absurd little setup, though. Uh, what do you start on? Everything. Oh, I, you're, okay. Everything, bro. You, I got this. Oh, you're good now. Dude, it looked good before this. Yeah, this is pretty, pretty jacked up. Uh, we got some rods that are Doll Johns that will be going. I just can't get over the fact that how nice it looks here because I haven't been up in the north in this time of the year in a very long time. I was just, we were just actually reminiscing about how much I miss fishing Champlain and I can't wait to do a trip there next year. Next year we're going to do like a, at least a minimum of a week long trip in Champlain, at least. At least. I'm not kidding, this showed up on Shuffle. I don't believe this, like, at all. We're back at the, the, the household of the John. Um, eating, some, eating some glorious food here. Uh, this is about as, as white girl as you can get. We got um, Starbucks coffee and Chipotle. Now, we're sitting here having a conversation because we're, we're trying to set up some crazy adventure type like fishing deal for the, for the Googling squad and right now we just talked to a guy we're maybe thinking about going to like northern Canada or or I don't know like Japan would be cool like somewhere like so remote and so awesome I want to know what you guys think leave a comment below give us some sort of like location that we should go like that is just in crazy like something just insane to go fish for like something that you you wish you could always do as a kid and you want to you want to 
I don't know. That, that's that's kind of what we're trying to figure out right now is where we should go, where the viewers would like us to go. Like, we don't want to go to like Colorado or Washington or something like that. We want to go somewhere like crazy remote, like in the middle of Siberia, that kind of stuff. That would be awesome. Your shoes? I, I I don't know if I could take seriously. I feel like this. I'm sponsored, dude. No, I I feel like I just showed up with Andrew Flair. Like, did he just show up? I'm with sponsored, door? dude. Okay, can you just give it a rest? I don't know. Like, I have. I don't. You, like, you do drive a Toyota. I know. That's what I'm saying. Well, that's a that's an 01 Highlander with all-wheel drive, limited edition, with leather stitch seats. Okay, seat warmers in the front too. Okay. It's got a third row seating in the back. There's a reason why I wear this. It's because I drive that. Rob, I don't know why this is so hard for you to grasp. Just because I'm sponsored doesn't mean you have to jealously bash me with your camera and your audience, okay? Listen, dude, if you, if you don't want to go on this trip, then you can you can drive in a, in a Ford or a Chevy. But but if you want to go on this trip, we're going to take my Toyota, okay? And you're going to have to deal with this. Deal. <laughs> what the heck? He just randomly showed up outside of his house wearing all that stuff. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, that was good. I just sat there and talked to you guys for about two minutes with not, nothing recording. So our goal this weekend is to break our personal best, small mouth. Mine, I'm three pounds or so. His is probably like five to ten. Mine's like close to five. Twelve. Five, five pounds. So our goal is to break that. Break that is our goal. Well, the guy we're going with is on fish. You know, we, we can't fish. Me and him, we suck at fishing. No. Yes. No, we're not good at fishing. Yes, we suck at fishing. There you go. So we have to go <laughs> to somebody to find out. We just don't know Lake Huron. No one knows Lake Huron. Yeah. He's from Chicago. I'm from Texas. We, we can stay around here and catch them all, but Lake Huron's small. How big is that lake? It's a great lake. It's huge. It's huge. Massive. How many great lakes are there? Five or six? Oh, cut that part out. That's such a stupid <laughs> question. Superior, Superior Huron, Erie, Michigan. <laughs> Another one, there's four. I can't put that in. <laughs> nah, I'll put it in. I don't care. <laughs> what what lake, Great Lake am I missing? Superior, Huron, Erie, Michigan. Give me, a, give me actually, give me a second. You don't have to put this in, but I actually want to. No, no, because now we don't know. Now you guys get to see. It's just, that's another thing about doing these daily videos. You guys, we didn't do very much today, but now you get to see how dumb we are. How dumb we are at times. Um, We're leaving for a five hour road trip just now. It's almost seven. And we don't even have a hotel up there. No. That's another thing. We don't have a hotel. We're going to a lake we don't know uh, with a guy we've never met and we our, our big thing is we just wanted to go smallmouth fishing and he's like oh this guy can take us. Lake Ontario. Ontario? Missed that one completely. Oh that's good. That's, that's, a that's, that's another big one. It's pretty much by Canada right? Yeah. Yep. It's 632 so we're gonna get there around midnight. Now let's see what happens between then and there. Two minutes down the road, we've already stopped again. But you know what? There's a reason why we're stopping because there's one thing we need to do. This is one of Peric. Like Peric shows up here and he starts quivering. This is like one of his worst nightmares. Trembling. He trembles when he shows up to the gas station. He sees that pump and he's just like, "This son of a gun! No, you're not gonna get." I can't find the app. Like, where's the? Oh, there it is. We spin for everything. Gas, everything. Like, here we go. You ready? Yes. Well, it probably helps if I can spin them. And it's adjusting. Oh, is it gonna? Son of a gun! That's three in I, a row. I, that's three in a row. I've well, lost. Kind of. I just paid for yours that one time. But. Yeah, that is very true. Anybody that doesn't know, this is Peric's worst nightmare, as you can tell right here. Um. Well. <laughs> what was that, dude? <laughs> okay. Well, as I honestly was just talking about Peric, <laughs> like no joke, like Peric spilling gas. Do you know what just happened right here? Do you see all that right there? All that uh, wet stuff? That's gas. That is no joke. Someone just spilled 10 gallons of gas all over the, his car. Is something, something's going on. But that's some stuff that would happen to Peric, and we just witnessed it again. But I know you guys have actually saw Peric. If you guys have never seen that video, I know you're probably wondering what the heck just happened. So I'll play it again. That was a... Um, well... <laughs> what was that, dude? Okay. Update on a life. 
It is 8.18. We actually only left 45 minutes ago because we had to make a pit stop. But we found out the drive was actually six and a half hours, not four, and we lose an hour. Just given the distance. It's four, 400, miles. 400 miles, and we left at 7.30 at night. So dumb. Someone just pressed my doorbell. No one presses my doorbell. Look at this. Where is it? Right here. Look at that. Watch. Who was it? Button press? What the heck? No one's there. No, there's somebody there. 707. I oh, was it an hour behind? Who was it? That's creepy. Who's on my door? Oh, trick or treaters. Okay, that makes a little more sense. There's trick or treaters at my house. <laughs> what the heck? I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Isn't that, that. crazy? I didn't even think about that. <laughs> well, you can see what they're doing from, from, from Chicago. Is Sarah handing out candy or something? I guess so. Uh, we're about to find out. Let's see if Sarah hands out candy to these kids. That's so funny. Dude. Is she there? Nice. Oh, is she there? That Sarah's handing candy out? We got 10 say 11? What if it's just like Jimmy and his like, American elf? It might be. <laughs> we may not see. Oh, here we go. They're getting candy from Sarah. I'm telling you guys, I think we installed the other day. That sky bell is pretty, pretty sick. That's pretty awesome. It's pretty sick. Airhead slushy. What? Starburst slushy. What? Yo, whack. I'm about to get me one of those. Oh, wrong window. <laughs> Okay, so we are, it is what? It is midnight, a little after midnight. 1 a.m. It's, oh, it is. Oh, yeah. it is. That's wrong. It's 1 a.m. We're making a pit stop at Taco Bell. We're still about an hour away from where we need to be. And we're actually staying an hour south of where we're launching tomorrow. So we're still a couple hours out. Just thinking about this is kind of a daunting thing. Did you hear her laugh? Oh, yeah, you sounded like an idiot. We both sounded like an idiot. When you're like, are they both? Well, you said, I'll take the thing with potatoes in it. Well, what the hell are you talking about? We wanted Tim Hortons, but Taco Bell would be. Oh, it is so cold here. It is very, very, very cold. I'm really glad I brought this. Oh, there we go. Oh, do, 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 do. Always an adventure. Please say there's at least two beds. Yep, yeah, there's two beds. Is there a light? There's no light. Look. All right. No, there's not one there. One over there, probably. Oh, this is just. This is awesome. It's probably one by the door, I would assume. All right. Usually when we go on these trips, Eric's the third wheel. So we always have to rule out for who has to sleep with who. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking that's that's real dirty. Well, what I just said is gross. You know, two guys sleeping in one bed. But it happens, okay? Not all hotels have three beds. So sometimes Eric's got to be the little spoon with Rob. And sometimes I got to be the little spoon with Eric. And as much as we don't like doing that, it's just a part of kind of what we do but uh this time we're gonna have our own beds thank god it is it is time for me yeah, they have body lotion here, dude. it's good i needed to be cleaned you're gonna need it you're gonna be so dry after the michigan wind is clearly apart and we're gonna call it quits now that's pretty much what we're gonna do we're fishing for smallmouth we're catching a personal best it's gonna happen the next two days i have to catch a personal best on lake huron i've never fished it john has probably fished it i would assume i don't know we're gonna catch one. It's gotta be like four pounds, I think for me, four and a half pounds or five pounds, somewhere around there. I've never caught like a giant smallmouth, so that's gonna happen. And I'm gonna take you guys along with me, but until then, I'm going to go to bed, and I think we're gonna end it with some, uh, on some Paraguay, and I will see you guys tomorrow at the same time, every day. I, it didn't work. <laughs>